Most Wi-Fi WAN issues are related to the signal strength, interference in the environment, as well as how the Wi-Fi network you're connecting to is managed. We're going to go over a few things to check that can help in troubleshooting your connection issues. First, confirm connectivity with the Wi-Fi source. Take your computer or mobile device and try connecting to the Wi-Fi WAN source directly. This will show you how initial connections are established, but there is a splash page, their connection password and frequency, as well as the performance of the network. Keep in mind that users can see bandwidth degradation of up to 50% when connected through the PEP link, depending on conditions. Next, confirm you're following the proper configuration steps. Check out our how-to video if needed. You can also upgrade the firmware if there is an update available. Take a look in the PEPLINK web admin page under System and Firmware. If the check for firmware does not work, proceed to peplink.com support slash downloads and download the latest firmware. You can then upload the firmware file manually. Signal strength between the PEPLINK and the Wi-Fi WAN source can also be a problem. Confirm you have enough signal strength to connect. Log into your PEPLINK web admin and refer to the WAN connection status at the dashboard. Click on the Wireless Networks button here. In the window that opens, you'll see a table showing the Wi-Fi names, channel, security, and signal. The signal is represented by a negative number. The closer this number is to zero, the better the signal is. Generally, a signal of negative 80 dBm or closer to zero is needed to maintain the Wi-Fi WAN connection. However, interference and obstructions between your PEPLINK's Wi-Fi signal and the Wi-Fi WAN source can still cause issues with a stronger signal. Since some channels are more widely used, they could experience more interference issues. Adjusting the channel settings may help. Back to the wireless network's window at the dashboard. Refer to the channel column and make note of the channels in use. Next, close the wireless network's window and click on the Details button to the right. Scroll down to the Wi-Fi WAN settings section. Adjust channel width from 20 MHz to 20-40 MHz for 2.4 networks, or 20-40-80 for 5 GHz networks. If you find that most nearby networks are on the same channels, set the channel to custom and then deselect the channels that are most in use. Another detail we can adjust is the output power. This is adjusted to control how much signal is broadcast to pull in the Wi-Fi WAN connection. If you're in a heavily congested Wi-Fi area, sometimes lowering the power may provide better results. You can also enable the boost to add extra power. Remember to click Save and Apply at the bottom when you're done making changes. Lastly, you could adjust the DNS server settings. This last step is possible if you can determine the IP address of the Wi-Fi network. You can then use this address and change the DNS server setting from auto to manual. This can be done when you first set up a connection profile from the wireless networks window as shown here. Simply uncheck the box to obtain the DNS servers automatically and it will allow you to enter addresses manually. Use the IP address of the Wi-Fi network for the first DNS server. Use 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 for the second one. This is Google's DNS server. You may also adjust it within the details and profile settings section as I'll show here. You'll scroll down all the way to the bottom of the window to find it, then click on the network name or SSID. Again, uncheck the box to obtain the DNS servers automatically and it will allow you to enter addresses manually. Once again, the troubleshooting tips we have suggested are to confirm connectivity with the Wi-Fi source. Confirm you're following the proper configuration steps. Confirm the firmware is up to date. Confirm you have enough signal. Adjust channel configuration settings. Adjust the output power and adjust the DNS server settings. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more videos like it.